Attention class of 2024, there will be a parent meeting on January 17th at 1 p.m. in the cafeteria that will be discussing all senior year activities, including prom and the baccalaureate ceremony. Nuevo Theta will have its next meeting on Thursday, January 11th from 3 to 3.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. All members are encouraged to attend as attendance matters this year. Please refer to the attendance policy posted in Google Classroom or reach out to Ms. Oland or Mr. Taylor with any questions. Reminder, if you were inducted in the spring and have not paid your $16 dues, then please bring them to the meeting. Remember, exact cash or check only. The next baseball meeting will be Thursday, January 11th at 3 p.m. in room D102. If you are interested in playing this year, we'll be, see we'll be sure to see you there. SGA is hosting Winter Wonderland Winter Formal on Saturday, January 29th from 8 to 10 p.m. Guest forms are available in the office. Tickets will be $10 each and available at the school store the week of January 15th. Guest forms must be turned in before tickets can be purchased. Beginning today, January 8th through Thursday, January 11th, many students in our building will be taking the MCAP assessments. Students who are in Biology, English 10, Government, Algebra 1, and some Geometry will be getting information from their teachers about testing. Students who are testing are required to be present on all four days of testing with a charged laptop. And remember that MCAP assessments are graduation requirements. Class of 2025 will be having a Chipotle fundraiser tomorrow, Tuesday, January 9th, from 4 to 8 p.m. at the Chipotle by Salisbury University. NHS will be having a meeting tomorrow, Tuesday the 9th, at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. If you've not yet paid your $15 dues, please bring them into the meeting. Step Up will be held on Tuesday of this week. Remember to sign up by, eight, by 9 a.m. With the marking period ending on January 26, you will want to come in and pull up your grades. You can't beat this deal of free tutoring, free meal, and a free transportation home. In sports, varsity boys basketball team took down Washington High School 65 to 40. Nice wing clippers. And varsity girls basketball team dropped a nail biter to Princess Anne, Jaguars 41 to 42. There will be a softball interest meeting on Wednesday, January 10th, beginning at 3 p.m. in room F209 for anyone interested in trying out for softball this spring. Good morning, Clippers. I just wanted to take a minute this morning as we begin state testing this week for those of you that are testing. <clears throat> just asking that you do the best that you can for yourself and for JMB. Uh, your score does get kind of added together to give JMB a rating at the state level. So you want to do your very best today because it's a graduation requirement for you and it impacts JMB overall. Also, last week, I know that most of you come back maybe with some new outfits, um, and so we were a little bit lenient, <clears throat> but this week, make sure you have those hats and hoods off and no bellies showing. Also, for those of you that are trying to put your hood up and wear a mask, that's not okay. We need to be able to see your face. We'll be working to address those, you know, your teachers and the people in the hallway. doesn't matter who it is. If you are asked, please make sure you comply so that we can continue to make sure we keep our school safe. Um, I look forward to seeing those of you that sign up for the dance, but don't forget you have to have that 2.0 and no out-of-school suspension days. And have a great Monday. Thank you. And that's all we have for you today, JMB. Have a great day, JMB.